Out in the rainstorm again. Yeah, they're off and on this time of year. I kind of like it. It's not so bad. But uh, the hotel last night was okay. It was um, comfortable and quiet. Very, very quiet. Something you don't get very often here in China. But uh, did have one complaint, and that was the Wi-Fi again. It's the, the internet's running really slow in some of these four-star hotels. It's almost if you want to guarantee a good internet, you have to have a five-star hotel, it seems. With four-star, it's hit or miss. Three-star, it's almost non-existent. And there's nobody else staying in the hotel. I was one of the only ones. Also, the breakfast was limited. It was a Chinese breakfast. It was okay. It was good. But the selection was not quite what I was hoping. So I'm going to hit up Starbucks before I head to work today. Slight change of plans. I was originally going to go play poker with the guys in town. But uh, I decided to, to bail on that and uh, do a little travel. That's just the way I am. But I didn't travel too far. I just hopped on a train. No reservations or anything. I don't even have a reservation for a hotel and I'm in Zhuhai. So, back in Zhuhai. And uh, unfortunately, the weather doesn't look like it's cooperating with me. What I want to do is I want to go hiking tomorrow here in Zhuhai, in the northern part of the city. There's a couple of really uh, famous mountains and lakes up there that are supposed to be really beautiful and i'm hoping to catch it in between thunderstorms it's that time of year where there's thunderstorms just about every every uh afternoon but tonight after a long weekend i'm gonna go check into a nice five-star hotel and get a good night's rest in a big comfy bed i have not been sleeping well lately mostly because of the noise outside my apartment early in the morning. And it's been hot all week, and of course the one day I decided to come to Zhuhai, it is a little on the chilly side. Now, hotels in Zhuhai, especially near the border, the Gombe border, are all pretty much the same. You have nice ones, you have, you know, just average ones, and you have real sleazebag hotels too. But there's nothing special about them, except for the one I'm going to tonight. Uh, I have never stayed here before. It's called the Palm Spring Hotel. It's a five-star hotel. It's rated five-star. I don't know if it really is. I have eaten dinner here once, and I'm excited because they have a giant five-story spa in an entire building. In fact, half the hotel is a giant spa with an indoor swimming pool, and it's open 24 hours, and you can hang out there and watch movies. So, and they have 24-hour food. And I'm hungry, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Okay, so I'm all checked in, and you can see in my eyes I'm exhausted, so I'm about to crash. However, I wanted to give you a little quick tour of this hotel. For about 40 bucks a night, you can stay in this five-star hotel. And it's two buildings. Uh, one building is the spa. It's the whole building. It's gigantic, and it's very busy with people. And then the other one is the hotel. And I'm on the hotel side, and it's very lovely. It's clean. It's nice. And, uh, you know, Zhuhai, especially the Gongbei area, is known for kind of its uh, seedier side. It's kind of dodgy, almost like a Las Vegas strip without the casinos. Um, I don't like that part of town. It is just filthy dirty. It's full of touts and thieves, and it's just not for me. This is on the other side of Gongbei, on the other side of the river. And it's a lot more higher end, a higher class area, uh, hence this hotel. And it's not a far walk from the train station either. This is the elevator foyer, it's giant. And you walk here, you can go all different kinds of directions, down that way, and of course down that way. So I'm just in your standard room when you come in, this is what it looks like. It's got a recessed television and a nice, big, comfortable, I believe it's a king size bed. Uh, a couple of lounges and um, well appointed. You know, this is unfortunately most hotel rooms in China are smoking rooms. And this is no different. However, it doesn't smell like a smoking room. The bathroom is pretty cool. I mean, it's got these sliders here. You can slide this open here. And as you can see, it's a nice big bathroom. Again, very clean. You've got a shower there with the typical raindrop and a head and a, and a handheld one. And then you slide this over and you've got the restroom. Very lovely and of course also very busy. I mean outside you've got Ferraris and Lamborghinis parked everywhere. People in this town have some money that's for sure. And they love Kenny G in China. Going home is everywhere. This hotel here, it just closed. It's about time. It's a beautiful building. 
but I remember it was a complete knockoff of a Disney hotel, all the way down to the big giant, you know, cursive D that you can see on the side here. It's just uh, unfortunate. Palm Springs Hotel last night was very, very nice. I slept in. It's uh, checkout time is one o'clock, which is awesome and rare. So uh, I missed breakfast. I'm starving for lunch. Uh, I don't know if hiking is going to happen today, just because the weather. It's uh, thunderstorms all afternoon. It's not going to be worth it. So instead, I'm going to go have a nice lunch here in Zhuhai uh, and head back to Shaolin and maybe do some yoga. These border towns, Zhuhai is a border town, and it's um, there's good parts and bad parts. You know, near the border, though, everyone seems to be trying to take your money. Everyone from the taxi cabs to the street vendors. You know, all they want to do is scam your way into an extra few quai, it seems, and that's unfortunate because it is a really beautiful city. And near the border, I think people are a little less friendly. They get a lot of tourists, a lot of people coming and going, and so all the services, just not as great. Except for that hotel, it was really great. The service is fantastic. But if you go to McDonald's or any restaurant, any bar, and it's everyone's got a scowl on their face, it's just. They don't seem happy to be here. In contrast, my small town, Shaolan, which is you know about 45 minute train ride north of here, it's uh, everyone is super friendly. Uh, no one's out to cheat you. In fact, they give you a lot of stuff for free. Um, it's a lot more laid back atmosphere. Walked into a 7-Eleven near the border, near the train station. Look what I found. You can't get these in China. I miss these, about 20 RMB, so it's about the same price as it is back in the States, way overpriced, but it's a little taste of home.